Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video, let's talk about exception filters. So in our controllers, we have seen a situation where we were trying to get user and if user is not found, we were throwing not found exception, right? So when you hit this request from postman, what you will get user not found. What if I wanted to customize this message a little bit where I can show the status code, the message and the description and all the information, right? In that case, we can use these custom HTTP exception filters, okay? So currently, if you just try to return this, this error, not found exception, so what you will get is status code and error message, user not found. What if I wanted to customize a message a little bit in my own way? I can write uh, custom exceptions. NestJS also provide a whole lot of HTTP exceptions like uh, not found exception, internal server exception, bad request exception, all these exceptions I can throw from a particular service. Okay, these are these exceptions will be handled from the NestJS and you will see appropriate status code. Not found will throw the 404, bad request will throw 400 internal server exception in inbuilt convert it into a status code 500, right? But what if I wanted to change it a little bit, then we can use exception filters, right? They gives you full control on the exception layer and you can create your own dynamic JSON schema which you are sending to the client, okay? Action schema are designed to customize the response which you are sending to the client on these unhandled exceptions which you are throwing, right? We, we are not that that is old days where we used to do response dot status 500 dot send right you can just throw exception directly and SDS will handle that right for that we can create a exception interceptors and these interceptors are actually intermediate between your request and handler so I can just create a filter And I'm using the default exception filter provided by NestJS in the documentation. HTTP exception filter, what it is doing is, it is extracting the status from the, the exception which you have thrown, putting the status code, the timestamp, the path. Here you can customize it, okay, some message if you wanted to send, anything you can add. In custom, in error response. Right, if you wanted to log the request, the, the client, the browser or the IP from the where the request is coming, everything can be logged from this request object, whatever we have. Right, so what this filter is doing, it is getting the access to the context, getting the request and response and the status code and sending this custom response to our client, right? So how can we just use it in our controllers? We have to bind it in our controllers so we can use it with the help of use filters uh, like if I wanted to use it with get user by ID so I can use this use filter annotation use filters and I can say new HTTP exception filter right this way HTTP exception filters will be introduced here and whatever the, the status code we are returning. Currently it is throwing not found exception, right? So it will customize this response and will give a nice customized response we have decided in this schema, okay? So this is how we can actually add a required attribute to our response like particular status code if you wanted to return, like it's not HTTP status code, some internal server application level error codes if you wanted to return, you can do that, okay? Earlier what, what we used to do is consider like uh, here I'm returning this get user and this method is a sync method which is returning a promise of user. Just try to see here it is returning promise.resolve this data otherwise it is returning this error right now in the controller we have to change it a little bit
and it should be a sync controller method and it is returning this but we are not sure right uh, that we will get a data or not so we can just wrap it inside a try and catch it will be a wait call because it's a calling to a sync method So here you can return any kind of exception, bad request exception, test or something, right? So if any exception occurs in this way, yeah, you don't know like what actually happening, right? You are not customizing it. It is just going to return uh, the default bad request uh, status code and the message test in the response. But when we are adding this filter, it will try to add the required attributes to your response which we have defined in the exception filter okay so this is how these exception filters are helpful to know more about your exception the particular path uh, from which client the request came and all right so this is how we can just add the exception filter to a particular controller this is how we are binding it you can bind it globally also to uh, application level like if you wanted to add it to your module level then you can do it in app.use global filters and exception filter you can import it here so it is now applied globally you don't need to do it at a controller level using use filters okay this is required in logging purpose and lot of good things you can do with uh, debugging using these http exception filters because we'll be throwing these exception bad request exception not found exception some custom exceptions from everywhere in uh, in the controllers right so we will be able to get the the required message from this okay so this is how we can do it thanks everyone